Remind us today, Lord, that the battle belongs to you, and whatever we are up against can be taken down in one fell swoop by your mighty hand. Please help us to trust in you. Amen. We were praying the Divine Mercy Chaplet, and during the fourth decade, while I was picturing the sorrowful way of the cross, I could clearly see the Lord carrying the cross piece on his bruised and bloody back and shoulders in the Eucharist. He was struggling to keep the cross on his shoulders when one side slid off of him and touched the ground. The minute the cross touched down and made contact with the road, there was a huge mushroom cloud, big as I have ever seen. It almost covered the entire Blessed Sacrament. My blood ran ice cold. Then the image disappeared. I said, Lord, what does this mean exactly? He responded, You must all devote yourselves to more prayer and fasting when you are able, with the intent of eradicating evil from the earth. Any sacrifice you can make, no matter how small you may think it is, offer it up for the healing of twisted minds and hardened hearts, and that those who practice evil will respond to our promptings so they will be conflicted and question what they are doing and come to the realization that their actions are extremely damaging and harmful to mass populations of their fellow man. You ask why my people that I have positioned in places around the world have not revealed themselves and taken action? Some have taken much action, which is not being revealed to the public, and most are waiting on my timing and will move forward at such a time which will be highly effective in bringing sinners to their knees in repentance and bring the greatest glory to my kingdom. As you learn to overcome the smaller battles, your faith will grow. As you listen to my voice, you will understand what to do and when to do it. When faced with what seems to be insurmountable to you, you can either be afraid, which is exactly what Satan wants, or you can put your faith in your God and be a giant slayer, moved by your trust in me. When in doubt, pray to me and I will deliver you. Pray. Almighty God, I believe that by worshiping and honoring you, I will overcome the attacks of the enemy. I tear down everything that the enemy has stripped from me. Today, I bind up every evil force that is attempting to penetrate my mind, heart, and soul. I declare, according to your word, that whatever I bind on earth will be bound in heaven. If I have not yet forgiven, Lord, give me the grace and strength to forgive. Help me to trust again. Amen. And that was the end of his message. Dear family, Let's stand on 1 John 5, verses 4 and 5. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen.